BBC Radio Leeds, it's quarter to eleven. Uh, the next guest here on the, the show. Uh, inspired, I would say. Um, superb. Turn the tables on people that really need those tables turning upon them too with an ingenious, ingenious idea. And a few others as well. We'll be speaking to him straight after the zombies. And she's not there. BBC Radio Leeds, just after quarter to eleven. Lee Beaumont is next. Well, no one told BBC Radio Leeds come around to 10 to 11. Cracking story, now. It's great tale. Lee Beaumont, businessman uh, from Leeds. Uh, in the meantime, keep your calls and your texts coming. 81333, start your message with the word Leeds. The big question we started out with at 9 o'clock on mid-morning today was, uh, should you tell people that the fat... Is it right to tell people that they're fat? Paul in Silson says, Adam, to be honest, when I heard the phone and subject, I thought, surely there's more important things. But tackling this today about weight has made me think... I'm not fat, but it does creep up. So thanks, you've done us all a service, says Paul. That's what we're here for, Paul. Thank you very much. Now, my next guest made it the national news over the summer after becoming so fed up of the cold calls he was receiving. We can all relate to that. He set up his own higher rate phone number. Now, Lee Bowman from Leeds set up a 10 pence a minute phone line and gives the number out to cold call companies who get in touch wanting his details. And it doesn't stop there. In February, Lee decided to cut off his mains water supply as he thinks using bottles of mineral water will work out cheaper. And he maintains he can wash, clean and flush to the loo for less than the cost of his monthly bill. And he's here to uh, tell us all about it. Hello, Lee. Morning, Adam. How are you doing? Well, I, I'm great. I was so looking forward to seeing <laughs> you. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Can this be right, Lee? You've cut off your mains water. Yep. In February, I decided to get a water meter installed. Right. Um, then in April, I used one unit of water. I was billed £17. £14 standing charge and £3 for the one unit. I asked them why the sanding charge was £14. They said it's maintenance for the piping. And I didn't want to pay the £14, so I said to them, cut me off. Right. <laughs> People wouldn't know where to start here. They'd think, oh, I, know, if I, can't, do, I can't do that. If <laughs> I can't, how, how can I manage without water? Yeah. So how have you managed? I spend £14 a month on bottled water instead of paying a £14 a month for the sanding charge. Uh. So I'm saving money on the units... And my hygiene has improved because I'm using no b better water in the tap stuff. So how how do you? So are you just washing in the sink then? I have a strip wash every yeah. night. I have baby wipes um, that I buy in bulk for washing my hands, stuff like that. Right. And when I get a free trial at the gym, I use their showers. When I got something important, I'll go to a friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> What, so you, what, you're literally sponging off a friend then? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so, and this works for you. You I mean, obviously yeah. you've got a bit of a crusade here, and it's it's uh, something that's, uh, that you feel very strongly about. That's right. It, quite, take us back to how you first came up with the idea of setting up the phone line, though, because that's yeah. one that everybody will relate to, I think. Yeah, I was watching Coronation Street. That I uh, kept getting um, PPI cold calls, well, the worst were the PPI ones. They wouldn't stop. I changed my number, wouldn't stop. I decided to get an 08 number just to stop them. Right. But it didn't work like that. They got hold of the 08 number, so I started making money, 70p a minute, on the phone calls. <sighs> so, ha when did it cross your mind that you could actually do this? Because I think it'd be so far removed from most people to yeah. think that they could actually do that themselves. They're not a big corporation. No. They're not, it's not Adam Pope PLC. Normal... Um, cold call companies just generate 01 and 02 numbers. Right. That's how they cold call you. I wondered if I could get an 08 number. So I went to Google and just typed in by 0871 number. And it was possible. It cost me a tenner and a VAT, the line attached to my normal Leeds number. And that was it. One of cost, no monthly fees, no yearly fees, nothing. Then every time I got a call, I made 7p a minute. So... And how long did it take you to recoup first of your tenor then, and your VAT, say? Two months. Two months? Two months. So, how, so calls, were you getting like two, three, four calls a day at, at any point? That's so right. That back? Yeah. So how much have you made then with this premium? Up rate? to date, I made just over £400. £400. <laughs> so, gosh. So when they call, what happens to them now? <laughs> um, I need to make them aware that it costs them £10 a minute. Legally, I need to make them aware of that. The law's going to change next year. 
so I'm not sure how it's going to change, but I will find another loophole. But when they call me, I can't ask, I can't keep on the phone as long as possible. But I can't ask them to repeat yourself three, four, five times. <laughs> <laughs> so, because if, if you dial a sort of premium line, they, they yeah. do all that sort of thing, one for this, two for that, three for that, yeah. and by the way, can we do this, that, and the other? I scrapped so, all that. So, you scrapped, so, is it like a recorded voice message? Nope. Mm-hmm. If I got my phone out, if I typed my 0871 number, yeah. my home phone would ring. Because there's no one there, it'll go on to the uh, BT answer phone. Right. That's it. They will cost them still 10 pence. Right. It's okay. gone through an answer phone. Okay. But they're, they're not getting all that. No, nope, not getting anything out of that. When, when I'm there, my phone will ring. I'll pick up the phone and I'll speak as normal. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, what else have you been up to then? Um, well, to, I, I, to save money? I've got no gas. I turned my gas off me for beauty as well. So it can, no gas? No gas at all. So... The what's so good about my... I, I don't cook on a gas cooker, obviously no gas. Mm. I have a, um, a little hob that I plug in to electricity that I only use very rarely. I like to eat fresh fruit and veg that don't need cooking. I like to eat pasta that just needs a bo- um, kettle, kettle to boil. Stuff like that. But the best thing about the gas supply is... I can swap and change the pliers to get cash back. Because I'm not using anything. How does that work? I'll go onto the website called uh, Quidco, yeah. the UK. I will change my gas supplier um, to another supplier, but I'll make sure they have a zero standing charge. Because I don't use units, so I want a zero standing charge for my gas. Okay. When that changes over, they pay me, Quidco pays me their Quidco's commission. Anyone can do that, anyone at all. It varies. My first time I did it, it was a hundred pound cash back. Last time only twenty one pound, but I change suppliers every three months for the cash back. And 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 how much are you getting back then? Will that range from what? It to can what? vary from thirty pound to one hundred, two hundred pound sometimes. And do you get that like in a check? Um, Quidco pay direct into your bank account. Oh right, so it's yeah. not a case of having it as a sort of built up as a debit or a credit or no, it, because like that. Um, so you, you should get it physically. Yeah, you yeah. can norm- do normal shopping through our website as well, like HMV, Tesco, yeah. Sainsbury's. But normal shopping, it all builds up, and the once a week it goes into your bank account. Lee, what do your friends and family <laughs> say about you? My parents live in, live in Australia, right, and they think I'm crazy. <laughs> 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 but my friends think it's fascinating. Do. So when they come round to you, what's the experience of going round to your, your, is it a house or a flat? It is a house. It's a house. Yeah. And is it your house? I own the house, You yeah. own the house. Yeah. Well. So when they come round to you, yeah. um, what do, what's it like? I mean, I've got this right, rather aus, austere sort yeah. of uh, view of, of what, what your house might be like. They'll log into the kitchen, first of all, and they'll be unindated with bottled water. Right. I'll ask them to make, make a cup of tea. Yeah. Do not know what to do. There's no physical cups in my kitchen. I buy polystyrene cups in bulk for a penny a cup. Don't you wash up on either. So I'll have the tea, reuse a polystyrene cup. When it's demolished, chuck it in a bin. <laughs> and that's better than having a cup all the time that you can wash out. That's and it. And a kettle and all I that haven't stuff. washed up in months and it's fantastic. <laughs> Lee, Lee, tell us, what is your next scheme? Or can you allude to what it might be? It's something to do with the TV licensing. Well, I can't condone this. <laughs> it's the BBC. <laughs> that's so, it. But I can't say anything about that yet, because I need to make sure it's legal first. <laughs> well, 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 Lee Beaumont. Um, very interesting. From Holbeck, isn't it? It's is Holbeck, Holbeck, yeah. Uh, so don't go around expecting luxurious uh, <laughs> tea-making facilities. Uh, however, you do manage, despite not having any mains water, yeah. any gas, and uh, you still manage to keep yourself clean, yeah. and I can vouch for it, he is. And cooks and does everything else that, that I live normal people normal do, life. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, ingenious. Thank you very much Thank for you joining Adam. us here on BBC Radio Leeds.